Hey everyone, welcome back to Awesome or Pop. Today we're going to do more science experiments you can try at home without any kits. We also brought a couple of friends, so let's introduce them before starting. Thank you, Awesome or Pop, for having us. My name is Peppa. George, are you ready to have fun doing these science experiments today? Yay, yay! What are we doing? That's a good question. What are we doing? We're going to use balloons to do our science experiments today. Actually, let's get started right away. Okay, Peppa and George, what do you two think will happen if I stick a skewer into this balloon? It's definitely going to pop. Pop! Okay, let's find out. If you think it's going to pop, plug your ears. <laughs> yep, you two are right. The balloon popped. Of course it was going to pop. Everyone knows that. That experiment was too easy. <laughs> I know, I know. But we have to start with the basics. Now, what if I told you that I can stick the skewers through the balloons without making it pop? No way! No way! George thinks that's impossible! Well, the real science experiment begins now. Let me show you. Here's our yellow balloon. Stick a skewer. Look at that! It didn't pop! What? What just happened? How come this balloon isn't popping? Wow! Is this magic? Can you tell us how you did it? So, when you pop a balloon, most people would assume it's because you poke a hole to let the air out. However, it's not the air, but the hole in the balloon getting bigger that makes it pop. When the balloon's hole gets too big, it rips and eventually the balloon pops. Now, you can prevent your balloon from popping by attaching a piece of tape onto your balloon. Poke a needle, skewer, or any sharp object where the tape is, and it'll prevent the hole from getting wider. Air will slowly come out if you keep the object in, or it'll deflate immediately if you take the object out. But it will never pop. Wow! I learned something new today. Really awesome how that works. Very interesting! You want to see something even more interesting? I can poke a skewer through the balloon without using tape, and the balloon still won't pop. But we just saw that earlier. What will be different this time? I don't care. I just want to see it. All right, here's our orange balloon. Now watch. Pretty awesome, right? Whoa! This is even better than the other one. How come this one didn't pop? Oh my gosh, that was super awesome. The best one! So, the reason why this balloon didn't pop is because I dipped a skewer in cooking oil and inserted the skewer stick from the top and bottom instead of the sides. Balloons are made of rubber, and rubber is made of molecule chains called polymers, which are elastic in nature. So when we blow a balloon up, the middle area of the balloon stretches more than the ends. A sharp lubricated point can be pushed through the material at either end because the lubricating substance helps the polymers stick together so that the rubber can stretch around it. Basically, the oil acts like the tape from the other experiment, but only better because it doesn't let the air out. But keep in mind, this experiment fails if you do it from the sides because the material is already stretched and it'll instantly rip. Now watch, if you move the skewer stick like this, the punctured hole looks like it's wrapping around the skewer instead of getting wider. The oil is helping the latex stretch around the stick. Wow, that was a lot to take in. The tape one seems easier, but this one is definitely cooler. Yeah, yeah, I like this experiment better. Okay, let's move on to our next experiment. Yay, I'm ready. <gasps> Me too, I can't wait. This is going to be a balloon and fire experiment. Now watch. Um, who doesn't know this one? Of course the balloon is going to pop from the fire. I know, I know. But what if I told you I can make it so that the balloon doesn't pop from the fire? No way! I don't believe that at all! Same here. That's impossible. But I do want to see you try. Okay, watch this. Oh my goodness! How come it didn't pop? Look at those burn marks at the bottom. That was so cool. I'm sorry I didn't believe. How does this experiment work? The secret is adding water to your balloon. Water is a great conductor of heat. The water absorbs most of the heat from the flame. Then, the rubber of the balloon doesn't become very hot, so the balloon doesn't break. 
Wow, that was a very cool experiment. Learning a lot today. <sighs> do you have any more experiments? <sighs> I actually do. I have one more. Let me show you. Watch what happens when I stick a bunch of skewer sticks into this Ziploc bag filled with water. Look at that! No water is spilling out! Whoa! This reminds me of the other experiment where we use the oil skewers! I need an explanation! Yep, Peppa's right! No water spills out the holes because Ziploc bags are made of a polymer. Polymers have long chains of molecules that are flexible. So, just like we did with the oil skewers, when you poke a sharp object through the baggie, the object slides in between the chain of molecules that make up the polymer. Those chains make a seal around the pencil that won't let water out. Oh wow! Even when Ziploc bags are punctured, they're still sturdy! Thank you so much for showing all these experiments! <laughs> that was a lot of fun! Thank you! I want to learn more science with you! That was fun! <laughs> Come back anytime! We'll do more fun science experiments! Awesome or pop fans! Thank you so much for watching. We can't do this without you. If you're new to the channel and became a fan, click that subscribe button for more awesome stuff. And if you want to be the first person to watch our next video, hit that notification bell to have a chance. See ya!